Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Lulu's Temple. Key provided by Dev. Thank you very much, Dev. I appreciate you, bud. Um, this uh, this honestly just looks like your classic platforming adventure, and I'm 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 down for that. Damn. So this is the pyramid thing I've heard. So, oh, that's. I don't know if that's a name, but it really does just sound like they're saying damn. So this is the pyramid. That's really good. Quite mysterious looking indeed. Though it's not easy to see what's inside. But I'm guessing it got the classic treasure stuff. On that note, I think I see something glowing inside. Gonna take a closer look. Damn crap! Wow. Shit. Wow. That That's not the way you start your cute little platforming game. Now, now it's PG-13 and, and none of the little kids can play. That's... They're gonna have to get parental guidance. Wow! Yo, my dude, what are you doing? <laughs> your cute little game. And you're just like... <laughs> All right. Are, are you you really going for it? So, ooh, I got, we got this kind of like uh, Paper Mario-esque sprite work. I appreciate that. I shoot the gun. Oh, I shoot the gun in many directions. When I saw this game, uh, I didn't know anything about it. I was very, very much sold on the art style. It, it's, it had a really cool look to it. Mysterious friend. I don't think this. Uh, I don't think this game is gonna go for the like the spelunky like. I think it's going for something different. Throw a torch. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I like this. Oh yeah. Okay, this torch mechanic is really, really neat. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing where they take this. Oh wow. Yeah, we're, we're really using light as a. Uh, oh, oh, that was, that was silly. Okay, so that, that's where I was trying to get to. Ooh, we have our first enemy. Pop, pop. Oh, we can hold it down. This game's got some really nice juice. Some some juicy graphics that you can uh, you can sink your teeth into. This music is cool too. Hold to lock. Oh, I see to lock ourselves in place. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah, this uh, the shiny stairs sucks you up to the next floor. This uh, this game really kind of reminds me of uh, some of the Wario lands. That kind of, um, you know, it's got a little bit of a puzzle platforming, but not too much puzzle. There's a little bit of sneakiness to some of the platforming. It's not not as simple as just jump over the gap. So how far are we jump? Okay, here we go. I really should be using the torch mechanic more liberally. Good, good sense of conveyance. I knew right away. Oh, those that that eyes in the dark are really good. I knew right away that I could break those blocks just by looking at them. Oh, we're oh we're holding the button down now. I know it's like a, it's a cute little platformer, but it's honestly kind of creepy. They've really gone for a vibe here, and I I really appreciate it. Good uh, controller support as well, I gotta say. Oh yeah, okay, so you can light the torches with by throwing your torch. This is good. Nice. Okay, so here's our here's our door. Oh, we got our our first treasure. Oh. Torch of Steel unlocked. Knock enemies into walls with a fully charged throw and watch them splatter. Let's give that a go. Wow. That's that's pretty cool. You don't have to fully charge the torch to uh, to kill enemies. Oh, what is this guy? Oh, he, he shot at me. Oh! Okay. Things are getting a little bit spicier. We are almost dead. What is this sound? Oh, I don't like that sound. Oh God! Oh, this game's kind of scary. The scarab rekindles you. Oh, that's what those big torches are for. Oh, those that can go through the through the walls, actually. Oh, that's that's kind of brutal. There is a good reason to use the torch over, say, using your gun, because your gun actually has a range. Your torch does not. The uh, scorpion is quite scary. 
Make it, it makes a really nasty sound. Oh, there's the key. I love the little giblets and stuff that are clinging to the walls. Oh, he was able to reach me? Oh God! Oh no! He was there and I couldn't see him. It seems like the torches stay lit, so even though you have to kill all of the enemies again, you do you do get a, a bit of an extra hand, helping hand. That's a great incentive to light those torches. Okay, nice. Uh oh. Those things are really creepy. I I don't like them. Okay, we got the key. The sound design is really good in this game. It it's it's creepy. It's super ambient. Oh cool, the scarab getting the torch can actually like pass through other torches and light them for you. Oh, I didn't know there were traps there. I, gu I guess I know now. Don't stay in the dark. They will hunt you. They will hunt you down. Oh my god. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, I don't like that. So we want to stay in the torchlight when we throw our torch, because otherwise we'll be in, in darkness. Can we can we light that from here? No, we can't. We have to actually go to that. Things are getting getting dark. Now we can't just like throw our torch whenever we want. We actually have to stay in light. So we can't be, in a weird way, it means we have to take more risks. We can apparently proc these traps by throwing the torch. That's, that's good to know. There's our next treasure chest. Oh, there's a bunch of scorpions down there. What what it was happening right now? Oh, we can we can set off these traps to kill the scorpions. Oh, nice. Okay. Cool. That was, that's also conveying to us that there's going to be arrow traps that we're going to have to be careful of. I uh, I really like this. This is really cool. Torch blast unlocked. Explode enemies with a fully charged throw. Wow, okay, so we have an AoE attack. Oh, what was that? Oh, 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 it's these guys that will hunt you. Oh, I see. I was in darkness. So the torch is becoming a very effective weapon, but at the same time, we are not necessarily in a good place to use it every time. Okay, so that's that's where the uh, trigger is. Oh, know when to be cautious and know when to take some risks. Oh, there was a trap there. And it might be that you just have to kind of stumble a little bit blindly. You know, light is key. If you're in the light, you can take more risks. That is to say, you can you can uh, throw your torch without worrying as much. This is uh this is really really cool. I'm 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 actually like super jazzed about this. Oh no! Okay. Oh no! <laughs> I I don't know where. I think I'm like in the previous floor. Maybe not. No, not definitely not. Oh, it's it's getting really spicy now. I only have one health left. Things are getting a little bit confused. Yeah, um, we're not gonna be able to use our torch on this floor because there's a dude here. Key. Yes. Come on. Yes. All right. Perfect. I feel like the in between level text was kind of a missed opportunity for a little bit of story. Not a lot, like have the exactly the same amount of text, but like, you know, what? why are we here? It's like, there's uh, there's an opportunity to say something about the character. I know that th this game 100% doesn't need that. It's a, it's just a platformer, but you know, like, how did we find out about this temple? What, what kind of treasure are we looking for? There's a, there was some opportunity. Oh God, oh God, oh no. Ooh. Oh, that was spooky. And it, and when they grabbed me, the torch dropped. So that coupled with enemies that would seek you out in the darkness, that's going to be a really nasty combo. I love the the little bit of goop hanging on the on the on that stoop. The goop on the stoop. Oh god, no. Okay, yeah, the frogs are so bad. Oh no! They're like undead frogs too, just to make it really weird and creepy. 
Honestly, I haven't played a platformer that actually kind of creeped me out as much as this one. So you can't, it's just the front of that tongue that is the threat. Once it's gone, you're, you're good to go. Hey, that's an interesting idea. You could get caught by the frog on purpose. Ugh, I really tried. Get caught by the frog on purpose to solve a puzzle. Yeah, again, it's it's giving me them, uh, them Wario Land vibes in the best way. You know what, I, what we haven't seen yet, that, and I'm actually kind of grateful in a way, is we haven't seen a boss. I'm sure now that I've said that, we will. I'm kind of enjoying just, just the levels themselves being challenging without the need for like a big bad that we have to shoot a lot of times. All right, so this is gonna be a little bit scary here. All right, there we go. Uh-oh. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we've got we've got an Oh, am I going to have to drop the the torch here? Yes. Okay. It's extra scary when you're put in a position where you have to Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. Yo, why do we have to though? That was terrifying. Oh my god, I, I honestly can't get over that one. Can we like- oh yeah, there we go, there we go. And then, uh, one more time. Will that work? That did work. Yes, treasure. Treasure, get the treasure. Torch is even better now. Wait, no, scarab ability. Scarab swarm unlocked. The scarab summons a deadly locust swarm whenever it- wherever it picks up the torch. Oh, okay, so it is a torch ability, but it's given to the scarab. So I'm not sure if I should be going up or down. Like, this is the thing, and I, every time I choose incorrectly, messing me up a little bit. I, okay, here we go, here we go. There we go. Oh, new enemies, and they're even grosser than the previous ones. Oh, God! That sound is so scary. I hate it. Oh. Wow, it bounces as well? Okay. So yeah, as soon as you hear that, you gotta, you gotta book it. Oh my god. Okay, is this one of those, these kind of Mega Man sec sections where I'm gonna have to like, jump blindly almost? A little bit. Just a little bit. Oh god. Oh, ouch. Okay, luckily we had some, uh, invincibility frames. Oh, Jesus new enemy and they're they're terrifying like everything in this game oh wow so that stabby guy is like really hiding there i just got i got really lucky when i knocked that guy down because he's like he's some like dark souls level stuff of just like this enemy waiting to come out and stab you jesus this game is vicious what no no, you give that back to me! Oh my god. I have to, like, go blind? Oh! Treasure. Ability. Spirit of fire unlocked. Shoot a powerful flame ball every fifth shot. Oh, Jesus! So you can kill those things. Yo, I've I've had enough of your of your garbage, my dude. Wow, those things are really tanky for being something that I have to I have to kill or else I'm going to die. So oh So those things are really tanky and difficult to hit and also they come straight for you. Those they're they're pretty brutal. You can't just like stand and fire against them. It's it's almost I think it's almost better to like throw your torch so that they can they have it so they stop chasing you. Yeah. But then they have it. Then they have your torch. Oh. Yeah, those hands suck. I don't like the hands. The fact that they can pass through walls uh, makes make th makes this really unforgiving. Like I can't I can't get this guy now. 
when you're when you're at the mercy of the, the hand and you have like ghosts coming after you and all kinds of stuff that's a uh, that's gonna feel kind of bad and I'm sure we're, we're at certain points we're gonna have to um, let them grab your torch in order to solve puzzles that could that's definitely something I could see them pulling in this game hands aside I did I did make it through ouch oh the knife guy I was lured into a, a false sense of security they didn't throw a knife guy at me for a while Oh no! Okay. Alright. Yeah, the, the hand the hand is a is a real bummer. Was there I wonder if there were extra bonuses I missed out on. An ominous bastard awaits your arrival. Oh. Is the is this a is this a boss? Oh, that sound is awful. Like in a good way. Midget Pharaoh. What? Why? But why though? Oh, okay. Something's happening. I don't know why I did that. Okay. So this is this is this is tough. Okay, good. All right, definitely the charge shot is the key to all of this. All right, he's gonna get real mean now. Oh, Jesus! Oh, one more, one more. Yes! Yes! Whew! That was, uh, that was really tough. Mysterious warm light lies ahead. Your friend feels heavily attracted to it. Oh yeah! What's happening? The mysterious scary blossomed into a beautiful god. The temple's strength is fading. A massive collapse awaits. The classic escape the building sequence begins. Get out quickly. Um, I do want to keep playing this, but I, I think I'm going to leave it here. I could very easily finish this. Do, do a series on this. Um, this is an excellent, excellent game. Really challenging. Not too hard. A little bit punishing at times, but with a little bit of perseverance, it's it's not too bad. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like cruel. Really, really amazing sound design. Great music. Great... Everything about this, honestly, I, I love this. This is Lulu's Temple, and I think this is a, one of my favorite recent discoveries in terms of like a, a slightly puzzly platformer. It's mostly platformer, most uh, a little bit of puzzle in there. But uh, yeah, if you did enjoy this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.